this tutorial I'll show you how to create a dual boot system so you could trial Mac OS Sequoia without replacing the current OS on your computer. I'll then show you how Final Cut Pro runs with the new Mac OS. Apple released Mac OS Sequoia today and this is the 0 .00 version so I generally wouldn't recommend that you download until there's some clarification on how stable the new version is. And if you've got a business critical computer, I wouldn't recommend switching to the new OS until 0.01 version is released at least. But if you want to get a taste of the new Mac OS Sequoia without permanently committing to it, then you could consider a dual boot arrangement. And this can very simply be done with the Apple APFS file system and it means you can try out Mac OS Sequoia without affecting your normal work. The process is to add a new volume to your system disk, providing it's APFS, and then install Mac OS Sequoia on the new volume. And then you can switch boot disks at will. The big advantage of adding a volume to an APFS disk is that the contents of all volumes will share the space available from the whole disk. And this is opposed to the other option where you can partition the disk into several volumes. However, with a partition, you have to nominate the size of the partition, meaning that the nominated space is reserved for the new partition if you've got a one terabyte disk, say with 200 gigabytes already taken up in a volume called Macintosh HD. So if you create a new partition of 500 gigabytes, it'll be fixed at that size at the 500 gigabytes and the Macintosh HD section of the disk will only have available to it a further 300 gigabytes of free space because it's already used 200 gigabytes. When you add a new volume to a one terabyte disk, both the new volume and the original Macintosh HD section share any free space on the disk. Look at this example of a one terabyte disk. The total capacity of the container, that's the whole disk, is 994.66 gigabytes. The available space for the whole disk is 247.28 gigabytes and the total amount used on the disk is 747 and 38 gigabytes. The total capacity of the Macintosh HD volume is the same 994. The available space is about the same at 246.69 gigabytes. And the Macintosh HD has used 10.27 gigabytes. The total capacity of the Mac OS Sequoia volume is the same 994 gigabytes. The available space is about the same at 247 gigabytes and it's used 14.5 gigabytes. And to explain the little difference in the available space, the readings are dynamic on an active system, so they'll be slightly different. And let me show you how to create a dual boot system. Launch Disk Utility, select the View drop-down and select Show All Devices. Select the Macintosh HD volume, click Add a Volume, give it a name. I've called mine, for some reason, Mac OS Sequoia. Press Add and the new volume's created. And once you've finished trialing Mac OS Sequoia, you can remove the volume. And if you need to in the future, you can add it again. But when you do remove a volume, all of the contents are deleted. Select the volume in the sidebar and press the minus button. And the next thing is to download the new Mac OS Sequoia. Go to the App Store and download the new OS. Click Get. Get. 
and the system settings for the software update will open. Press upgrade now, then continue. Agree. The next choice is critical though. Select all disks. Select the new volume, Mac OS Sequoia, and press continue. The download will take quite some time. And when the computer restarts, it'll launch into the new volume and ask you to set up as if it were a new computer. So things like the choice of language, Apple ID, Wi-Fi password. Set the minimum amounts required as you can come back and do the full setup later if you need to. It'll also ask you to migrate from another computer. That's over to you, but if you do, select Macintosh HD from your computer. Otherwise, skip the migration and you'll have a new desktop. You can drag Final Cut Pro into your dock by accessing the Applications folder on the other volume by selecting Macintosh HD in the sidebar and opening the Applications folder from that volume. Make sure you open the Applications folder from the Mac HD volume and not the Applications folder on the new volume. Now you've got a dual boot system. And to boot the other volume, go to the system settings, select general, startup disk, select the drive with the Mac OS that you want to switch to. You'll be asked for a password. Now I've got Mac OS Sequoia installed, I'll run Final Cut Pro and see how the new system performs. But that's in the next video. So make sure you've subscribed and more importantly, Press the bell to be advised when that Final Cut Pro video is published. Thanks for watching.